Hidden in the world of Super Mario Odyssey are war paintings that will take you to secret locations in other kingdoms and reward you with a power moon. If you're going after all the moons, you'll need to find all 10. But before we get started, I will warn you, steer clear of this video until you finish the game if you don't want any spoilers for future kingdoms or costumes. If however you finish the story and want to find all those sneaky hidden war paintings, then stay tuned. The first painting is in the Cascade Kingdom. Right at the start of the level, follow the path around to the waterfall, and in true video game cliches, there is always something hidden behind waterfalls. To find the painting in the Sand Kingdom, simply walk to Tostarina Ruin's Sand Pillar. Once there, turn right, spot the pillar next to the Jaxi Stop, head on down and the picture frame will be hiding behind the stone column. To get to the painting in the Wooden Kingdom, you'll need to do a little platforming. Warp to Iron Mountain Path Station 8 and once there, jump down the railings, follow the yellow pole, bounce your way across the destructible platforms and throw your hat at the Scarecrow. Jump across the timer challenge blocks and grab the moon if you haven't already, and if you've managed not to fall off, then keep walking across the girder to find the painting behind the metal cube. The painting in the Lake Kingdom is nice and easy. Just warp to the courtyard flag and jump in the nearby pool. And extra points if you manage to do a sick flip. Metro Kingdom's painting is also super easy to find. It's right under your nose. Well, right under your ship. When you land, go behind your ship, jump onto the platform, and there it is. The Snow Kingdom painting is a little trickier. Take control of the cloud that's down the path from your ship and head to the northeastern section of the map. Use the cloud ability to blow the large wooden block over to the platform. Once it's over as far as it'll go, just jump out of the cloud, head up the platforms, and there's the painting. The Seaside Kingdom is also an easy one, you just have to beat the boss first. When you leave your ship, jump into one of the water spouts and you'll be fired onto a platform, under which the painting is hiding. Swim on down and claim your prize. The Luncheon Kingdom painting takes a little exploring. Head on over to the Path to the Meat Plateau and find yourself a lava bubble. You want to head to the island to the northeast of the map, and you'll need one of these lava boys to get there. Also, make sure you get hit by a pepper, that's very important. At the back of the island, you'll find, you guessed it, another painting. Once you've returned to the Bowser Kingdom, warp to the main courtyard entrance. Once there, take a left and hop over the railing. Head behind the building and hey presto, your ninth painting. Finally, for the last painting, head to the ever peaceful Mushroom Kingdom. Super easy to find, with your back to the ship, turn right, and between these two trees is your final piece of art. So that's where all the paintings are hidden. Hopefully this will help you get every power moon in the game. But if you want to see some more secrets, then make sure you keep your eyes on GameSpot. We have some more cool guides coming very soon.